Hello, and welcome to Midnight Mayhem with me. Today, we will be making Taylor Swift's chai tea cookies in honor of her new album, Midnight. I am so excited to make these. I know Taylor loves to bake, and I started seeing this recipe popping up everywhere, and I just knew that I had to make them. So let's get started. All right, so first I have half a cup of salted butter and I'm going to beat that up to make sure it's nice and creamy. Then we're going to add the granulated sugar, half a cup, and half a cup of powdered sugar, which I'm going to sift because mine is super milky. And then you're also gonna add one egg and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And I'm also gonna add half a cup of vegetable oil. And then I'm gonna beat all that together. Okay, I'm done mixing all of that stuff in. You can see it's a very like runny batter. And now it's time to add the chai flavoring. And there's a couple ways you can go about this. You can add lots of different seasonings and spices to create the chai flavor, or you can do it the easy way and add a packet of chai tea. And you know me all too well. And you know that I'm gonna go with the easy way. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I love chai tea. So I'm just gonna cut off the top of this. Ooh, it looks so good. So now we're gonna mix the chai tea leaves in on a low speed because this is very delicate. Okay, I'm all done mixing in the chai tea leaves. And then we're gonna move on to the dry ingredients. I've got two cups of flour, and I'm gonna mix that together with a quarter teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Just give it a quick stir. And then I'm gonna pour the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. And I'm gonna stir that together. I'm always just so enchanted by dough mixing together. It's so let me know in the comments what your favorite Taylor Swift song is. It would be very hard for me to choose. I'm not totally sure. My dough is all done, and now we're gonna cover it with plastic wrap, and we're going to refrigerate this for one hour, or if you want to speed it up, you can stick it in the freezer for 15 to 20 minutes. Cause this is a very sticky dough and we're gonna need to be able to roll it out. And into the freezer. Okay, I'm back with my dough. It is all chilled. So I've got my cookie scoop here and you don't have to use a cookie scoop. You're just gonna wanna make these like small one to two tablespoon size cookies. I've got my ball of dough and I'm gonna roll it around and then press it out so it's like a little circle like this. And then you're gonna wanna dip it in some cinnamon sugar. Or I might have to sprinkle this on top because this is not cooperating there. Okay, and now I'm ready to bake these. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna bake these for about eight minutes or until they're nicely golden. Now, while those cookies are in the oven, we're going to make the glaze to go on top. So I've got one cup of powdered sugar that I've sifted again, and then I have a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And I'm gonna mix that together real fast. And then I'm gonna add three tablespoons of milk or you can use eggnog. So I'm just using milk. And then we're going to mix that together. Whisk, whisk, whisk. And 
after you're done making your glaze, stick it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. And done! All right, my cookies are all done, and now the last thing to do is just put the glaze on top. But before you glaze your cookies, make sure that the cookies are fully cooled down because you do not want to put the glaze on hot cookies. So I'm just going to take a spoon of the glaze and just try to put it on here in a nice little circle without any of it dripping off. And it's okay if they look a little bit messy. Another way that I saw people do it is by dipping the whole cookie into the glaze, which also works. And they smell amazing. And then the last step is to sprinkle some cinnamon on top. Mm -hmm. ah, not too much. I have this little baby sifter, which helps not use too much. Lightly dust it on there. Okay, I also have these cookies over here that I have to finish glazing. Before I do that, let's try one. Oh, I'm ready to try. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. That's just so good. These cookies are so good and they just like melt in your mouth. It's amazing. And then they kind of crystallized on the edge because of the sugar. I honestly thought that the icing was going to be too strong, but mixed with the cookie, it's really good. And I feel like this cookie is the definition of fall. It's just like all fall all together. Well, thanks so much for baking Taylor's version of chai tea sugar cookies with me. They turned out great, and if you are a lover of fall or like spice desserts, then I definitely recommend you try these. Hey, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. Don't forget to comment your favorite Taylor Swift song, and I will see you next time. Bye! Of these sugar chai... Sorry, what? <laughs>